Hello everyone and welcome back to the 4 Immortal Sisters Challenge and we pick up where we left off and our lovely Audrey is fast asleep and it is freaking midday on a Saturday and <laughs> she's still in bed. Now I don't know if I said the last time but I do want to try and get her childhood aspiration so once she gets her little bahuki up can you just just let's get your little bum up that would be awesome. You can go and use that and then we'll get your hunger sorted. Um, Marissa was cooking and she still is, but something is on fire. Um, little Miss Fia here was going to be getting her hunger on. Go for the... No, you can't... No. Okay, she's she's clearing out the, the bad food, so that's fair enough. Money is really, really tight at this current time, so I need to get... Can she... Was she able to publish her books? I think she was. So I want to get her working on her books. The reason being I have another um, sim in a current household that's actually working on um, books and we make like 4,000 simoleons per day which is pretty dang phenom yeah it's phenomenal <laughs> it's phenomenal so we'll get a little Audrey to come over and get something to eat Fia is a preggers as we know she has a happy moodlet from having a new baby which I thought she wouldn't have but she's a little tense from being in the first trimester Jeffrey Landgrab has came to visit so I'm hoping that we can we can uh, have a have a chat with him, brighten his day and what not. Um, so Audrey needs to get the artistic prodigy, so she needs to achieve level 5 in the creativity skill. I don't think she can use the easel, so it's pretty much just down to using this. But also it was to play with three different toys, so I'm going to just get the toys out of here. What? Place in world, yeah. She's putting the toys away, but I'm going to get this um, to this. You really need to stop um, tidying up. It's really actually quite hard to get them not to tidy up and whatnot. Right. So she's having a pleasant conversation. So I think that Jeffrey is going to be our next victim. Because not everybody likes the land grab. So get to know him. We will discuss our interests and compliment his outfit, why not? All right, so she has to play with three toys. So let's do that, let's play with that. Okay, so that counts as playing with one. Come play with that one. And, well, it should have. It said play with three toys. So play with one. So that's only counted as playing with one, or maybe because she has to stop playing naturally, perhaps. Shinobukaniwi. And let's play with a car. Why not? Play with the car. And then that'll be you done, your, your three toys. Terra is just chilling out and watching some television. She's doing not too bad on her angling ace. Um, she's level 5 in her fishing skill, so I feel quite bad that I seem, all I seem to be doing with her is just sending her over <laughs> to the fishing spot, but there isn't really, you know, she needs to learn all these kind of gardening things just now, and what skills does she have? She's 5 in fishing and 3 in, uh, in gardening and whatnot. You can come ahead and involve these, I suppose. Marissa's just doing the toilet. But uh, Audrey is absolutely precious. I love her. She's great. <laughs> she is absolutely great. So if you learn to do that, good. So why don't you go ahead and draw some more shapes on the creativity table. She gets main things from there, I believe. And does she get musical? If she does the musical things, does she get creativity? I'm really not sure. Um, let's try. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll try. We'll try our very best. So Marissa's is coming over to chat on here. Are you still with? Um, what's his face? Did you just let Jeffrey leave? 
why is he like doing that? Let's um, call Gossip. Why not? She's got a lot of green moodlets. She's had aqua jet therapy, as you do. So how's she getting on? <laughs> I don't think it is creative. Yes, it is creativity. Okay. And she needs to get to level five. So we'll get her to do that because, you know, <laughs> why not? She's tried to work desperately in her writing and all she'll hear is that violin. She'll be like, holy moly, will you shut up? <laughs> Terra's working on her fitness because she has a fit sim, so she enjoys all that. Okay, why don't you try to tell me an engaging story? Express her admiration and do a heartfelt compliment. We could also hug him a little bit. We could ask him to cloud gaze. Marissa is coming to mourn Laurent, which seems to be her goal in life. Is there nothing that you can clean, darling? Is there nothing that you can clean? She's like, mm, no. So I'm trying to think of what she could possibly do to make money, but there isn't really anything that she can do to make money, which is just a bit of a shame. So we'll get her to not put an inventory, but we'll get her to put away and kind of tidy up a little bit and just clean up and... And do kind of boring stuff. It's a shame for her that her life consists of cooking and cleaning and whatnot. <laughs> Are you any good at this, Audrey? She's like, mm, not really. Aura is nearly finished, the Power Rangers guys. And then we'll get her to publish that and then that'll be her making even more money. What she wants to do is she wants to meet someone new and she wants to be mean to a child. <laughs> we don't give him an inside joke. She wants to help Audrey with homework. We're not allowed to do that. It is only Aura that's allowed to do that. Are you still doing that? She actually wants to go and catch a fish, so we're going to go and just let her go to the fishing spot. She wants to catch a fish, so if she wants to catch a fish, then we're going to let her catch the fish. So we'll get her to fish with grapes. And fish with apples. Because apparently if you fish with bait, it's even better. We're just really in need of money, guys. <laughs> we really are. Our money our money game is bad. It is bad. So I think this will be her possibly her third book. So because she sold it to the publisher, she should be able to earn quite a bit of royalties. Here's Jensen Do It. Let's do a friendly introduction to him because her social is pants. It is in the toilet. Marissa, am I going to have to delete this? Even though I've got this little gate around it, you're still mourning him. Oh, what's this over here? Onions. Onions. Why do you come and chat or watch her? Why do you come and do that? She wants to give a pep talk in the mirror. This is a pleasant conversation with this guy. Okay. Oh. So Tara caught a catfish worth 48 simoleons. What else might be out there? So fish type catfish caught with grapes. So there you go. There you go, guys. So, can you actually get to know him as well? Can you introduce yourself to him? Um, share a secret. It looks like they maybe know. So, you can stop talking. Why don't you come over here? I wonder if you can talk to her while she is actually playing the violin quite horrendously <laughs> but we'll see if we can um get her sorted out that would be great and then i think i would, might like to send fia out i think i think it'd be nice for her to to get out um terra's quite an, an angel fish nice why don't you come and speak to your sister joke about politicians share a secret and hug so Aura is basically responsible for Audrey and I think that she would want Audrey to kind of go out and about. So let's stop this and let's you go and grab something to eat and then we'll take you out for the day. Because you would do that on a nice day with your kids, you know. Especially since she's the one that's responsible for her. Let's 
Come and you get something to eat as well. Grab a serving. She's tense because she's got stranger danger from the loner trait. Loners can't stand to be around strangers. Who knows what they might be up to. Stranger danger. I get it. I do. I do get it. Can we go and grab something to eat, sweetheart? If we go and grab something to eat, we can take little Audrey out. So we've got more catfish. So grapes seems to be... Oh my god! Glitch guy. <laughs> Did you see that from afar? Oh my god, guys! How creepy is that? <laughs> that looks like somebody's like punched out, right? I think we should get you changed. I don't think that's quite working in the old uh, custom content, honey. Let's come and plan your outfits. We can't have you looking like that. Cannot have you looking like that. That's just scary. That is just creepy beyond creeperson. So we'll get her changed and put her into a, a cute outfit, I think. Now you're perfectly fine. It's this outfit. Oh my god, that looks so Hello, weird. Other custom content I've had has been absolutely fine, but clearly... There you go. A pregnancy outfit. Let's change you into a nicer, more appropriate there. That's nice. That's nice. And let's put some nice... It's not the kind of killer sex pot look that we're used to from her, but, you know, she is carrying a baby. <laughs> so we'll just pop her in there. And I think that's a really, really pretty, a really pretty outfit. So we'll go with that and we'll take off her bracelet. We'll change it, I think. Yeah, we'll change it to that one. Okay. Ooh. Good, that'll be a lot better than you looking like someone has just drop kicked you in your stomach. <laughs> Which, let's face it, is never a good look. So we just gained 280 simoleons. How did, why did we gain that? That must have been her... She, that must have been her royalties. But obviously we've not got notification of the royalties, but it must have been. Because we don't just gain two... Oh no, the cake! And we don't have a man, we don't have a man, guys, that can can get the cake. And we need to feed this guy, right, is, what's his face, is he still here? He is, right, Fia. Fia, you need to, you need to, um, ask him to move in, Dylan. I don't really know him that well, but we just, we need to do that. And she's all ready to go, she's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to the park, let's go to the park. You can almost hear her now. Going to have a quick shower. Now, Marissa is the handy person. So she does need to come and repair this. We will get her to do that. Fia, I really need you to come and ask this dude to move in. Call him over. Oh no, don't leave. Call over. You better actually be coming over. Don't leave. Okay. I need you. Right, go here. We're not going to get to the park because this idiot. Right, I need someone to come and die. <laughs> oh no, we don't want to fail this. We, we don't want it to die. We don't want it to die. Right, who... Who, we've killed Johnny and we've killed Laurent. So who is the next death? Jensen. Let's, uh, is Jensen must be here then. Where is he? Jensen. He must be because I can't invite him over. So he must be here. Hey, I don't want you to go though. Don't go. Ask to hang out. Let's see if this works. Can you go quickly? No, don't sill sill me. Sugar. Right, invite to hang out. He's literally just left. <laughs> He'll be right over. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's what we like. Okay, darling. I need you to go and draw some people on the on the shapes. She needs to gain another creativity skill level. Right, well, he said he would be right over, and I don't see him. Why is there no door? 
Have I deleted the door? What the hell, guys? Why is there no door? Oh, did... I is that why I gained... Because the door deleted? What? That's why he couldn't come in. Oh, for the love of goodness, guys. For the love of goodness. So I'm going to have to pay more money now for the same freaking door. How annoying is that? Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. So that has now left me pretty much rooked. She's super tired, so she's just going to... Oh, here he's here. He's, he's still here. He's still here. Wonderful. Wonderful. You need to come and you need to friendly ask him to move in. And you need to move your buttocks ASAP. Jensen, you're next, babe. You're next. Stop him. Stop that man. Please don't leave. Oh, Jeffrey's here. That's fine. Okay. Screw him. Jeffrey, would you like to move in? Would you like to move in and sacrifice to the plant? We did actually sacrifice your son. Was it his son? Was it his son? No. Moving in together. Yay. We will move in together. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to bring money with him. Which is slightly disappointing. But, yeah. Joffrey. Is it Jeffrey or Joffrey? I don't know. I don't know. We could move his wife in. And murder her. <laughs> That's not very nice of me to say. That's quite nasty. Oh well. We need to sacrifice him. We really, really do. Alright, so he now lives with us. Wonderful. Now, he won't get killed. Eat the cake. He won't get killed right away. Which is sad, but he won't. So he'll need to wait another 12 hours until... <laughs> He'll get spat back out now. He'll cough it up like a cat. <laughs> that's quite disgusting. Not even going to lie, guys. That's quite disgusting. So I'm going to let him have a shower. I can't believe like how much money we do not have. And while you are there, Terra Medallion, if you can milk him. So Tenet has been away fishing and she did catch herself some fish, obviously. So we'll go ahead and we'll sell these. I'm pretty sure that those, that was the catfish that were worth more money, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and sell these. It's all about the bits, about the bits. I know I, know I sing that every time, but, <laughs> but actually, is. so that got us quite a good bit of money, Terra. So I'm proud of you, darling. Um, really super duper proud. We've got two toilets in this house and both of them are broken. Well, honey, you're on toilet repair duties because we really can't afford to just replace them. So unfortunately, you need to clean up all the crap. Jeffrey's like, where would I sleep? I have no idea who I'm going to sleep with. He's going to go and mourn Johnny. Do you even know Blondie? I don't think you do. So the whole mourning thing is kind of getting on my boobs. Kind of getting on my boobs, guys. Really not sure what to do about the whole mourning thing. But, you know, things must be what things must be. Where are you, Audrey? Audrey has taken to sleeping with... Um, Aura, which is really cute. So she's taken to doing that. So I don't know if that's something that they'll continue to do, even though she has her own bed. So I think she maybe feels safe with her. I mean, she is the one that's to take responsibility for her now. Um, but she certainly does seem to feel safe with her and she does have the best um, relationship. She's good friends and she's her aunt. Um, she's also good friends with Tara and a friend with Marissa. And she's actually friends with her mother, even though her mother doesn't really like her. So that's her genealogy. Her daddy was Laurent, and he's deceased to the death by cow plant. Uh, her mother is here with her sisters. So I just, I love the fact that we have family trees now. It is just 
the bee's knees. It really is. So yeah, so tomorrow will be her first day of school. No, actually tomorrow's Sunday. So we're doing quite well so far with her and she's to get one skill to level two and yeah so that's us guys so thank you so much for joining me i hope that you had a nice time watching this episode and i hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are and please don't forget to leave a like on the video and a comment to let me know how you're getting on and any thoughts to do with this lp and i love you all so very very much and i'll talk to you in the very next part of the four immortal sisters challenge bye guys